Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the Geekly Media Show. Of course, I am your host, Jason Quaino, and it is good to see you guys today. I just thought we'd talk a little bit about, we've got James Gunn online again with his Twitter wars. And so I just thought I'd get into a little bit about James Gunn's plans for the new DCU, because it does get quite confusing sometimes. One minute he's got Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman coming back. The next minute he's got Ben Affleck writing a Batman movie. And then, of course, all this goes to shit and he's not basically delivering on none of this. Now, could this be because of how the success or how the movies are going with no success with the, with the old DCU that is maybe trying to restructure things as he goes along? Well, I think there is a possibility in that he's not actually got a plan together as such because he does change his mind quite a lot or so we think that he does. Maybe in his head he's got something going on correct and he's got his plan that he's sticking to in his head but yet he's just trying to mislead his fans such as people like me and people like yourself that are watching this. But I just thought I'd really get into it a little bit onto Screen Rant and find out exactly what has been written in the movies and what hasn't been written because it is quite confusing. So let's go over to Screen Rant and let's have a look. Um, and this, this is a little article that just says that James Gunn confirms the new DC Universe timeline so far. So the DCEU will soon make way for James Gunn's DC Universe and DC's new creative chief confirms what the DCU timeline looks like so far. So let me read this. This is again from Screen Rant. And it just goes on to say that James Gunn shares an update on the status of the new DC Universe timeline. Gunn and Peter Saffron have already announced the first batch of movies and TV shows that will be a part of the new DC Universe Chapter 1 which is Gods and Monsters. And after the release of the film featuring the new DC Universe first movie's character, Blue Beetle, or sorry, he says it's the new DCU's first character, Blue Beetle, but as the movie has flopped, he's probably changing his mind about that. And um, More insight into the current status of the DCU has been revealed. And it says on Instagram, Gunn responded to a fan asking him if the DCU will have a chronology that fans will be able to access to which Gunn replied, yes. Here, one, Creative Commandos, two, Superman Legacy, and nothing else is finished or been written yet and won't be until after the strike. So, and it also says that according to Gunn, all that is set at the moment is that the animated series Creature Commandos comes before Superman Legacy. The DC Studios creative chief explains the reason for that, saying that those two are the only projects of the new DCU that have finished scripts due to the Writers Guild of America. Uh, and yeah, that, that strike is still going on at the moment. The writer's strike and the actor's strike. The actor's strike is hurting them a little bit more. Um, currently, the only DC Universe projects with a set premiere date is Superman Legacy which Gunn both writes and directs, I think he's going to absolutely smash this Superman Legacy movie. I really do have faith in him, but the the character Adam Warlock in, uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy, I actually didn't think that he did that well with the character. Uh, and seeing as he has a lot of Superman abilities, I wasn't that impressed. I thought I was going to see something like that I haven't seen before. And, and to be honest with you, yes, there was only a little bit of action there, but of what I did see... I thought that Black Adam's action was a lot better. And I know it's not just about the action. I know. I know it's not just about the action, but that is a big part of the movie. And um, when you're watching something like Superman, so you want that to, to really be awe-inspiring and amazing as we're watching it. But so, yeah, Superman is, is to come out July 11, 2025. And uh, that has got David Corn Sweat or David Corn Sweat. And Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane. And, you know, look, at the end of the day, DC fans are always going to question the casting and Marvel fans are always going to question the casting unless it's a no-brainer or unless that character has been put before us without us even realising who's being cast and having, us time, having time for fans to react to it. You know, a bit like um, Ryan Reynolds, you know, the, the, there were some people out there that didn't think that Ryan Reynolds would be great for the role of Deadpool. And look how that turned out. He is 
Wade Wilson. He is Deadpool. And yes, there are characters that could play it like him, but I just do not think there's characters that could play it the same as him. Um, and so it's interesting, really. There is a little bit more to go into. Uh, while Blue Beetle is the new DC universe, first movie character in Superman Legacy is its first film. Creature Commandos is the DCU's first animated project. And Creature Commandos is looking at a set release date of 2024 for its seventh episodes, which Gunn himself wrote. And while the image that was released of the series animated characters it made it seem like the project might be set in the past, Gunn recently confirmed that Creature Commandos place in the DC Universe timeline, saying it takes place in modern day. And well, if this animated show DC Commandos, which I am really looking forward to it because I love my animated shows, Invincible, Vox Machina and all that, I love them. And if that is the case, where these are set in the same timeline as Superman, remember Gunn said to us that everything is a continuation and everything is, is all part of one long big universe or one long story or universe, as, as I said before. Um, and that does make me think that he really needs to get this Creature Commandos right as well. And if it is a success, then possibly we'll bring them back into the live action version, which I'm, I'm actually looking forward to everything being connected. Remember, he said that the games, even the games were connected as well. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing to think that we will find out some information or little snippets or Easter eggs in the game that is also will also be relatable and connected to the movies as well. That for me is I'm I'm looking forward to it. We know that Star Wars tried doing that shit before, but that did not work out. And so here is the list of James Gunn's movies coming out. We've all heard them before, but I'll just say it again. Uh, we've got uh, Batman Brave and the Bold, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, Swamp Thing. Uh, I really enjoyed the Swamp Thing series, by the way. The Swamp Thing series was absolutely awesome. The Authority, the DCU series include Booster Gold. Please do not get Chris Pratt for Booster Gold. I don't want to see Chris Pratt as Booster Gold. You know what I want to see for Booster Gold? Because he's kind of like this guy that comes back in time that's got all this technology to be a superhero. I would love to see Stifler from American Pie. Yeah, him right here. I would love to see him as Booster Gold. I think that he would make a fantastic Booster Gold. I think he would make a fantastic Star Lord as well because he's kind of like got the same aura as Chris Pratt. He's kind of funny as well, although I don't know how well he does at the box office. Um, and then also we have The Lanterns, which is a series as well. We have Waller. I don't know what he's doing with that series. Well, I mean, if you could make any series, why a Waller series? Oh, I don't know. And Paradise Lost, which should be amazing. All the ladies on a Game of Thrones type esque Wonder Woman's people, the Amazonians, as like a like I said, Game of Thrones type esque series. Oh, that would be absolutely amazing. And you could keep that a little bit separate as well because they're on their own island. Um, and so bring it on. Let's see what is going to change because I do think that things will change. I think that yes, he might have this contract out, but he is not gonna see it through if Superman Legacy flops harder than probably what they're expecting it to flop. Um, I don't think that Superman Legacy will do nowhere near a billion i think it'll probably take around 700 million i'm just guessing hey i am not a professional at all by this i just like to look at some numbers and and yeah the box office shocks you sometimes and stuff like that so you don't actually know what it's going to take but you know the the first one is going to take a loss because people are people have got to get used to it again and stuff like that and a lot of people might not go and it might take word of mouth for it to, you know, reach up to its 700 million or something like that. But that would still be considered a win, consider, considering the poor mess that DC is in right now. So do we trust in James Gunn? Well, that answer remains to be seen. Hopefully, yes. But who knows? Who knows? I'm kind of an optimistic guy anyway. I, I think that anything that comes out that's like a superhero movie, as long as it's not too bad... I'll watch it. So 
let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. I keep saying let me know in the comments below, but no one lets me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll try and read some off. I'm certainly YouTubing a lot more now. Set up the studio behind me so we've got things cooking. But I want to hear your thoughts and I want to hear your comments. And if you're new to the channel, give me a like, give me a follow. Give me a hit that notification bell. I'd appreciate that as well. But stay tuned, stay geeky. Bye for now.